Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Brian today with Hollis Farms on a road trip. Been riding a while this morning. So you've covered about just under 500 miles. Hadn't really seen anything exciting, so I thought I'd wait and, and uh, let y'all know when we're almost there and where we're going. We are in West Central Illinois, Pike County. Going to hunt whitetails with uh, Scott Bean at B and D Outfitters, Illinois. If y'all been watching this for a while, you know I went, I came back. Uh, Jason and I both turkey hunted up here back in the spring. We weren't able to come at the same time. We had tags for different seasons, but we were both able to tag out on turkeys. Uh, I hunted here back in the. Uh, Back in January, late season, bow season, saw quite a few deer, had a couple, a couple of pretty good hunts, but just didn't have any luck. It was only mature buck. We saw it already shed his antlers, so didn't have any luck with that. So anyway, we're headed to B and D. Be there shortly. I'll uh, I think Scott and I are gonna run out and put a stand out this afternoon. He got a little intel on a pretty good buck we're gonna be hunting. Uh, I think we're hitting it perfect time. A uh, rut should be in full swing or starting to kick off, kick in pretty good. I stopped at a archery shop back down the road and picked up a few things and there was a local guy there talking about he's been hunting this area for over 50 years and he knew if he was two days either side of Veterans Day uh, was always the time to be in the woods he thought so today is veterans day so uh, take the time to thank everybody all of our viewers and subscribers that are veterans appreciate what you've done for us so we can can get out and enjoy things like hunting so but we'll be there shortly i'll get checked in camp uh scott and i'll run out I'll take the camera with me, kind of show you how we're going to get set up. It's a cold front moving in. I think the front's moving through now. Really, really windy. I think it's going to be 20, 25 mile an hour winds for the next day or two. Really cooling off by the weekend. I think lows in the going to be in the 30s. So coming from Mississippi where it's been 65 degrees, it'll take a little getting used to. But, uh, that's a good kind of getting used to. So. Y'all hang on, I'll show y'all this farm country riding through. We'll be at camp in a little bit. y'all we still made it through some of the farmland there and cut through the hills to the other side of this bluffs that are right on the Mississippi River a little, little town here called Hamburg we're now on the Mississippi River not far from camp 10 15 minutes away we'll start getting Turn unpacked right after and get ready to go miles. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brian today with Hollis Farms. We are in Illinois hunting this morning with B&D Outfitters of Illinois. Hunting in the Pike and Calhoun County area of West Central Illinois. 
Got in and traveled yesterday. Didn't really do any video while we were traveling. Wasn't much to see, but we got uh, Scott and I went in late yesterday afternoon and set up a little hang on stand in a spot where they've been seeing a good buck a couple of days. Uh, uh, came around, circled in from another direction this morning. Going to go in there. You try to get set up here. It's about a little bit before six now. Uh, sunrise about six. 40 I think so I have to hustle on up here and get set up stand set up so all I gotta do is climb up here and get my clothes on and get still so y'all uh, hang on and we'll be come back we'll be in the stand maybe we'll get lucky on this old buck all right y'all got set up I'm running just a few minutes late but I'm glad I already had all the stand and everything set up pretty breezy this morning probably low 40s Wind may work to our advantage. Got a good steady west wind. Where we think these deer bedding is two mile southwest. Guys, seen this deer a few mornings come over this ridge in front of me. I'll turn around and show y'all. Basically, just a travel corridor right here between good bedding, two good bedding areas. <clears throat> Catch these bugs cruising through here looking for does. Charles about 8 15 8 30 hadn't seen anything yet it's like the weather's gonna stay real steady all day it's about uh, 41 42 degrees right now 20 mile hour winds got the wind chill down low 30s some of the guys said they've been having a little luck grunting I think I left my grunt truck in the grunt call in the truck did bring some little old rattling things, kind of like a what to call it, pack rack. Thought we might try that. Um, when it gets up later in the morning, I don't know if these deer are still bedded. I don't know if the wind keeps them locked down or what, but uh, this wind's probably gonna be hard for anything to hear. But we can try it. We can ride pretty hard. Maybe the bedding area is just not very far from here. Maybe there's one laying there. Maybe we can luck up and get him on his feet. but I just shot at a stud. Looks like a really big eight point. He came running right down the ridge like we hoped they would. Whew, I couldn't get him to stop. He was right at 30 yards. Couldn't get him to stop. Finally bleeded at him real hard and got him to stop. Made a shot. I think I saw hair flies. I'm gonna give it just a couple of seconds and go see if I see blood. We're about to wait a while. Uh, he ran off hard like he was hit. So. I'll keep your fingers crossed, it's a big old deer. Alright y'all, we made it back. It's been about, uh, oh, it's, I shot that deer this morning at 9.30. It's 3 o'clock now, we gave it plenty of time. Went ahead and let, got the other hunters back out for the afternoon. So Chance and I are going to go on down here and try to pick up some blood. Scott's coming in from down the hill. Y'all keep your fingers crossed, huh? Look up and find a little blood or look up and trip up on the deer. I hate I didn't get the video, the shot on video to give us a little clue, but it happened so fast. But we'll do our best to find him. Alright y'all, we're still looking. We've been all down through this thick scope of woods here. Me and Chance and Scott. 
No sign of any blood, no sign of the arrow. We don't know if the deer's got the arrow in him. Or if I shot over him, if I shot over him, it could have gone 100 yards out in the woods because of the angle I was shooting. <coughs> and the way the ridge falls off behind where he was, the arrow could have gone forever. You'd never find the arrow. No hair, no blood, no nothing. I really don't know what else we can do. We've walked this whole scope out. No sign of anything. Did find another dead deer that I don't know if it was a hunter shot it earlier in the year or what. Really couldn't find sign of how it died. It was a little young buck. We're gonna keep looking. I don't, it ain't looking good. All right, y'all made it back to camp. We gave it a good look. We covered that scope of woods thoroughly for a couple of hours. Walked right around all around the perimeter of it, anywhere he could have got out of there. I, the more and more we think about it, the more we talk about it, we think I shot over the deer. Uh, just the the way the deer was on the crest of the ridge, if I shot over him, it, that, that uh, arrow could have gone another 100 yards in the woods on the other side <clears throat> before it ever hit anything, and I wouldn't have even seen it or heard it. So Just a tough situation a really good deer probably maybe the, probably the best buck i've ever shot at with the bow i'm i'm guessing is a if his right side matched his left side he was a solid eight i'm gonna say in the 140s so a dandy mature white tail big old big body thing deer probably weighed 240 or 50 maybe better maybe more it's hard for me to judge i hadn't seen that many that big but you know after on the way back to camp we saw two nice bucks one uh probably a three-year-old eight point maybe a four-year-old probably in the 130s and we saw another good buck across the highway chasing a doe so the rut's on temperature dropping tonight it's supposed to be down in the low 30s wind's supposed to lay a little bit i hope instead of 20 25 it's supposed to be about 10. so we're going to go back in the same place we think where the deer's bedding he'll go back in there again i think he's been consistent and where we were looking around we weren't in there where he bed so we think maybe we didn't bump him not probably the worst hunting video you've ever seen so far, but I'm just gonna let this one roll and tomorrow we'll get back in the same stand and maybe maybe we can get some luck. It's that there's another bigger deer in there. Uh, a lot bigger than that one that we hope we maybe we'll see him, but we're just gonna chalk that one up to a miss and a lost arrow and a lost broadhead and reload and try him tomorrow. So y'all hang on, be back we'll be back in the stand in a in a in a, just a little while. All right, y'all, we're back. It's morning two. Illinois bow season. It's cold this morning. Wind. I think the temperature dropped down in the around 30 or so. I think this morning. Got a pretty stiff wind, 10 or 12 mile an hour early. It's kind of laid down a little bit now. It's about. 7.50. Looks like it's going to be cloudy all day. <clears throat> we saw a couple of bucks yesterday chasing does after we looked for the one I shot at. Apparently I missed that deer, so we came back in the same spot. Don't think we... Don't think we... Don't think we boogered him up. Plus there's another buck that the guy's been seeing in here that's even bigger. I'm gonna try to stay the whole day. It's cold, wind chills in the 20s. Not gonna change much all day. I think tomorrow's gonna be windy too. Just have to deal with it. But, uh, gonna hang out, hang out a while. This is a spot where I don't we see. I don't think you ever see a lot of deer, but good travel corridor for a couple of mature bucks. They've been seeing. That's what we want. Sometimes you gotta trade off seeing a lot of deer for seeing the right deer. <laughs> Hang on here, try to stay warm, and uh, maybe we can make a better shot this time. If, they get, if we get another shot, we'll be lucky.
got a close that little buck there. I don't know if he was necessarily coming to the antlers. It's been about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes since I rattled. But I saw him walking the far tree line over here, 100, 125 yards away. And he was kind of angling away from me, so I kind of just bleated with my mouth. Thought I might get his attention. Next thing I know, he's right here in front of me. You know, so he walked down. He was about three or four yards from the bottom of the tree. I'm only about eight feet in the air, so I, he's right there close. But um, well, I don't know, I, I almost wanted to draw back on him, but as a young buck, nice deer, fun to get that close to him. We, we seem to be in the spot, when, but just two deer and two sits so far, and both bucks, both in bow range, so can't get much better. Still cold, but the wind's died down a little bit, so we'll hang in here. We're gonna get lucky. Still hanging in here. <clears throat> it's 11 o'clock now. I saw that little buck at about 8:30, I guess. Just saw a doe cross this hollow behind me. Been hearing a bunch of squirrels down there, so I really wasn't paying attention. And I sounded like something heavier. Looked up, looked down there was a big doe. Kind of hoping it'd be something following her, but at least the deer moving. They tend to be moving all throughout the day. Um, of yesterday I shot at the other big deer at 9.30 and then didn't stay to see anymore. When we were riding around later in the day, we saw deer on their feet all throughout the day. I'm gonna try to, try to stay in here all day. I'm in this little old XOP. Lock on. I'll see if I can show y'all what we're in here. Uh, can't turn the camera down low enough to show you what we're in. It's in a little old hanging stand. I'm only about eight or nine feet off the ground. A tree about, see that tree right there? The tree ain't about eight inches. Use a long wolf custom gear sticks. Hang them up. Got them cable laters on them too. Didn't use but two sticks to get up here. Put me just above eye level with the field. So it's cold. It's in the it's still in the 30s. Winds blowing 10 to 12. Pretty steady. I brought some snacks and a sandwich. I'm gonna try to hang in here all day long. It's been like I said, it's about 11 now. So I've been in here about five hours. Maybe the activity will pick up. All we need is one deer to come through, and I need to make the shot this time. I'll hang in there. Illinois whitetail deer hunter. I tried the video down in the woods behind me there. I don't think y'all could see it. There was a little old buck. It was like a five or six point fall on a doe. Through. A doe came through about five minutes ago. Heard him coming. He was right on her trail, bird dogging her. So the rut's on. They text me, they text me from camp. Said everybody's seeing a lot of deer moving right now. So that kind of helped me warm me up a little bit. 11:15. We'll be here a while. Probably grab a sandwich or a little bit and eat lunch. But we we're here for the day now. Y'all hang on. We're gonna have some good luck, man. All right, y'all, we're still hanging in there. It's about three o'clock. About a good two hours, maybe two hours and 15. Well, it's three tens. So we've got about two minutes, two hours left. Sun just came out for the very first time today. I had to pull out, put my hat on to keep the sun out of my eyes. Warmed up a couple degrees real quick, too. It's been cold. saw another guy climb up in a elevated platform about 150 yards to the west of me on across the property line he's real close to where that buck came from yesterday <clears throat> maybe it won't disturb anything if anything comes out between me and him it'll probably smell him but maybe we'll get lucky we've got about two up two more hours we're gonna hang in here Made it out. 
uh, end of day two, Illinois with B&D Outfitters. We uh, ended up seeing one one other doe right at dark. It was a long day. That's, that's about 11 hours in the stand. That's probably the only time I've ever stayed in a hang on stand all day long. I think I did it a couple years ago in a climber, but uh, or a couple, way years ago, not a couple. Probably back when I was in high school, but I don't know if I could do another all day sit in this cold weather. The way that tree's leaning, I can't lean back. I can't even hardly sit up straight. I had to either stand up or lean over a little bit. So made for a tough day, but saw the one nice little buck this morning that came in there right up under us. And then I ended up seeing, that was about eight, 8.30 and then at 11 o'clock two small bucks came through the hardwoods behind me chasing a doe I couldn't get them on film and then right here just a little bit after 5 I saw another doe cross at way too late to video so not too bad a day five deer and a long sit but most of them three out of the five in the middle of the day if you don't stay you don't see them so I'll wrap up this, this video it's been uh I had my opportunity yesterday. I really blew my good shot yesterday, but we're going to hang in there. Probably going to go back to that same setup again in the morning. Don't know if I'll stay all day. We'll just kind of watch it. I think it's supposed to be a little bit warmer. Today it hardly ever got into the low 40s. Wind chill stayed in the 30s all day. Tomorrow it's supposed to be a little bit warmer, but real windy again. That, I don't know. These deer, I guess if they're rutting, they're rutting. But at home when it's real windy, they just don't move as good. But, Anyway, we appreciate you watching. Make sure you come back and make sure you subscribe and come back. We'll have another, be hunting here another day or two. If I don't get one with my bow, I'm hunting the combo season. So next a few more days, firearm season comes in. So I'm going to try to come back after I hunt a couple more days and go back home, get back to the office a little bit. Then I'm going to try to come back and hunt either with a muzzleloader or my bow again. Probably bring a muzzleloader. So appreciate y'all watching again and don't forget to subscribe.